Hello everyone, Namaste. I am Devika from Ananda and today we are here for the season 1 of PLRT, Past Life Regression Therapy. We have amongst us a past life regression therapist, Mrs. Samata Shaha. She has 16 years of experience in the field. Let's know about PLRT from her. Hello Samata ma'am, Namaste. I am glad that you called us, you are invited us over here to talk about PLRT, Past Life Regression Therapy. Mm -hmm. So without wasting any more time, I would like to ask you my first question. What is Past Life Regression? Past Life Regression Therapy is to visit your past life, going into your past life. So you can go into, up to now also it is our past life, so till yesterday also. The one moment before is also past life, mm -hmm. the childhood in the womb state, the birth memories, and various past lives are the past life. Okay. Um, and how is regression related to it and how is it used as therapy? Uh, past life regression therapy works on the basis of, on the principle of cause and effect. Mm -hmm. So what you are experiencing today is a cause, uh, is an effect. Mm -hmm. And um, we guide the client to go from the effect to the cause, and once the client experiences the cause, the root cause, and re experience and relieve those moments through the catharsis, through the emotions, and see the big picture of the past. What is the past is there, he can release uh, the past um, experience and heal in the present. Uh -huh. The effect goes, basically, effect goes. So, uh, are you saying that the cause, the root cause, is related to the past life and the effect that we see is the stress is in our waking uh -huh. In our this life. Okay. Yeah. So, we interlink both the lives and that is how we feel. Yes. Uh, you re-experience re those emotions, uh -huh. those events in the current body. Uh -huh. So, what Because is we are carrying those memories uh -huh. in our subconscious mind. And when we connect to our subconscious mind, we see those Unresolved trauma, uh, unresolved memories from the past life, buried trauma, various memories, and then they release. So, past life regression is used as a therapy to release trauma, basically. Yes, but because past life therapy works on mental level, body level, emotional level, and spiritual level also. Okay. Yeah. So, there must be different approach for each level? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But everything is interconnected. As we know, body and mind is interconnected. And more, mainly the diseases are, 80 to 85 percent diseases are psychosomatic illness. Mm -hmm. So we work on those emotions, work on this, the client, go and see those things. Mm -hmm. What is the root cause? The effect goes automatically. Naturally, the effect goes. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what is the scope of past life regression therapy? What are the goals? Uh, basically, the person has a lot of challenges mm -hmm. in everyone's life. There are a lot of challenges mm -hmm. uh, in relationship issues, in personal financial crisis is there sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes physiological issues. Mm -hmm. So, uh, people need the solution. Mm -hmm. So, basically, you get the solution, you get the big picture, mm -hmm. why you are experiencing, mm -hmm. why you choose to have this in your current lifetime and what are the causes. Right. So there, there must be a lot to work on the etiology of why this problem is happening and how is it connected. Right? Yes, because uh, we, we understand, we know why we choose to have these experiences. Mm -hmm. As a therapist, we look everything, uh, we look at everything as an experience. So past life experience, past life trauma, past life existence. Mm -hmm. So what is the you know connect? What is connected to the effect? Correct. So there must be a theory for cause and effect. Like we have the cause yes. and effect theory. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. So this therapy is uh, based on the law of karma. Mm -hmm. So whatever causes there, the effect we are experiencing now, good and bad, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And karma is actually, through karma we experience everything. Mm -hmm. So karma is not a good or bad, it's just, you know, it's a necessity, necessary right. to clear our everything and to go in the next evolutionary cycle. Mm -hmm. Very interesting process. Of 
So uh, when we talk about past life, like you say, it helps the person to look at the big picture and uh, let's say a few frames from their past lives, right? So uh, how does the person feel at that particular moment? What is your experience on that? Um, initially, person is having sometimes fear also mm-hmm. to go into past life, mm-hmm. but we give them assurance mm-hmm. that it's easy because the conscious mind still is awake and then conscious mind uh, takes back seat and you connect to your subconscious mind through guided meditation, mm-hmm. through regression techniques, through imagination. Imagination mm-hmm. is a key to connect to your subconscious mind mm-hmm. and subconscious mind carries all the memories of this life. Also, this is like childhood memory or birth memory okay. or every each of our past life. Okay. So there are many lives before. Mm-hmm. Today we are have we are some total of many past lives actually. So um, usually here uh, when we talk about karmic cycle, usually here that we are here in this life to um, get a closure for for what we had experienced in the past. past. So does it support this theory? Yes, actually. We want to make completion. We want to make closure with uh, relationships or financial crisis or any other lessons. Mm -hmm. Because we are here to learn learn our lessons, Mm -hmm. basically, to enjoy the creation and to teach and to learn. So whoever we meet, actually, we teach them and we learn from them. Mm -hmm. So maybe every person we come across, we have some karmic like let's say bonding with that person and that is the reason everything has a reason you know with, behind every relationship there is a reason karmic reason yes yes because uh, we meet person maybe once in a lifetime mm-hmm. sometimes just for a moment but still there is a connection some with that person mm-hmm. and some people we keep you know meeting and we basically repeating those uh, different people in many many lives mm-hmm. yeah uh, when it comes to healing through PLRD, uh, mm-hmm. does the person experience fear or let's say resistance towards you know confronting with the past life situations or think about it as a distraction? Uh, everyone doesn't think about past life basically mm-hmm. because the awareness we need to create this awareness mm-hmm. like everything is connected but, but still in India um, in Bhagavad Gita, in you know, Patanjali, in Jataka, it's Buddha has also he had mentioned about past life. So at least we are aware about karma, mm. so cause and effect, we know. Yeah. Mostly Hindus know about, we believe. Most of the people, Hindus believe in karma, in cause and effect. So how do you deal with this resistance that the client must be having at the start? No, we take it because when the client comes, the first time we receive a call from the client, so we take it, the client is ready for the therapy, even mm-hmm. the first call. Mm-hmm. And when the client comes and just meets us, we take the history of the client. Mm-hmm. So that time also the client is ready, that's why he is coming mm-hmm. for the therapy. And he wants to, he wants a solution for that uh, issue, okay. trauma issue. So but sometimes people want answer mm-hmm. uh, for their project or for their, mm-hmm. I can say, any planning. Mm-hmm. Uh, they want to see a certain people that, why they are coming in their lives mm-hmm. or certain uh, patterns they are repeating in their lives. Right. The same thing is happening again and again. Right. So people want to know why it is happening to them. Mm-hmm. So they experience the root cause, basically why this is happening. And once they experience, once they see, um, they basically they release that. Mm-hmm. They don't repeat that. So what I know is PNRT helps a person to break certain patterns which is going on for yes. years, <laughs> Life, <laughs> lifetimes. Right. right. Okay. So uh, is this also related to like uh, obsessions or certain compulsions that a person might feel? Yes, yes. Okay. Because uh, there are certain patterns, there are certain issues, mm-hmm. they are repeating or the same cycles mm-hmm. of you know, repetition of those things. Mm-hmm. So you can break those patterns mm-hmm. by experiencing this th- 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 through this therapy. Uh, does PAT also help in decision making uh, or you know, plan for the future? Is it connected to the future like it is with the past? 
Yes. You can go um, into back, into your past lives, mm -hmm. life or past lives. The same, you can go into your probable future also. You can go and see what is what you know, what is the probable choice you have done in your future life. And you can make rectify those things mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. because the present is related to your past and uh, your future also. Mm -hmm. So in present you can make different choices. You can rewrite your soul plan, mm -hmm. and then you can have a different uh, bright future also. I guess even with the breaking of the patterns also there must be some lifestyle changes that naturally occur in the clients. Yes. Uh, are there any physiological changes uh, people experience after PLRT? Uh, yes, basically people release those emotions, release uh, those uh, blockages, mm. maybe in emotions and phys physical issues because everything is connected mm. to mm. each other. Mm. So, so it's a holistic well-being that we are looking at when we yeah. talk about PLRT. Um, are there any specific uh, steps for this process, the therapy? Yes. Uh, this is like uh, when the client comes, mm -hmm. initially we take the history. Mm -hmm. And in history, we have many questions to ask the client. Mm -hmm. and, and then uh, in which on which issue the client wants a solution. Mm -hmm. So we take that. Mm -hmm. And, and this, from the second uh, meeting, we can start the session. Mm -hmm. It goes for 90 minutes to 120 minutes. Okay. And the three-step process is identification. Mm -hmm. What is a what is a core issue, and what the major two emotions they are carrying mm -hmm. in this life, and then accordingly we can start so identification, and then disidentification, because once they identify the cause, mm -hmm. what they are having this issue in this life, and then disidentify because. It is. It, it was there in that past life. It is not in the present life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So disidentify those things through the catharsis, through catharsis of uh, physical um, body also sometimes mm -hmm. or emotions, emotional catharsis. So the, once the client relieve and release, relieve those things, and the uh, client can release those things forever. Mm -hmm. And the client can get big picture. Right. Of what the issue is and why he has you know, chosen this. Yeah. And once the time, learn his soul lesson. Mm. Uh, he, he is not having any that issue. The effect goes. Mm. Naturally, the effect goes. Mm -hmm. I think it helps the person to connect back to its soul motives, let's say. Yes. The yes. desires that the plan, soul plan, I think huh. the word yeah, is. Yes, yes, yes. Now I understood. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, we all come with a soul plan. Yeah. Certain things is what we want to learn. Mm -hmm. So accordingly what we learn, what we you know. Uh, we choose our parents, we choose our partners, friends, because we want to learn. So they teach us and we we teach them, it's mm -hmm. like learning and teaching process. The entire life is a it's a process mm -hmm. of learning and teaching till we go into the next evolution in the cycle. Interesting. Yeah. Um, as a practitioner, I would like to ask you how uh, how is your experience with you know redirecting your clients to the past and back to the present? Uh, it's very interesting because uh, when the client gets the solution, gets the direction, mm -hmm. you know, because you can get uh, guidance from the master, spirit guides, masters also. Mm -hmm. We all have invisible guides and masters. And when we get the guidance from them, we feel good. We feel the solution and we feel we are not alone because there are invisible guides and masters always with us. It must be a very fulfilling experience as a practitioner, right? Uh, basically, yes. Could you as a practitioner, like, uh, is it possible for you to view the frame that they are seeing? Uh, we are not supposed to, supposed uh, to. <laughs> tell, but many times we get the answers. Okay. Okay. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's the client who understands mm -hmm. the, the get the awareness. Right. But the exp in expanded consciousness, the client gets the you know answers, mm -hmm. and the transformation and healing happens. Right. Automatically, it happens. So I am sure there is more to talk about PLR, and there there must be sub aspects to this, and I would love to cover it. So
some other time. Thank you so much for your time, and I love this conversation with you. Thank you, thank you, Devika. Thank you so much. In today's episode, Samata Ma'am enlightened us about past life regression therapy, a new therapy approach, an uncommon one, which deals with the past life, connects it back to our conscious waking lives, our decisions, our issues, and how to deal with it. I'm sure there is more to it, and even you are curious about things. You can let us know in the comments, and we can structure our episode two and upcoming episodes with it. If you found this video to be helpful and interesting, please hit the like button, share this video, and stay tuned with us for the upcoming videos.